I'm very intrigued by this one because I've heard a song by Downswing featuring Avoid, which I adored, and I thought it was a masterpiece. But I've not heard anything by Avoid just by themselves. So let's see what they're like. The song's called Can't Take This Away. Shout out to Michelle Elise for requesting this via Patreon. And go. You can't take this away. Okay. Lovely. You can't take this away. There's some interesting percussive elements to this. Can't figure them out. I got a feeling like I'm going too off the wall. Nice. It's kind of funny how the people around you love to walk too far. The home team? Pushing 90 in its doors and fast enough. Check in the mirror, all I see is a cloud of dust. So I'll die, I'll die. So spacious. They're throwing all the sounds in this. Catch it. There's a funkiness, there's a pop to it, there's rock. I got a feeling like I'm going too off the wall. I got a feeling like I'm going too off the wall. It's kind of funny how the people around me love to walk too far. <laughs> the 80s drums. We're ready in the stores and fast enough. Check in the mirror, all I see is a cloud of dust. Wes Borland riff. Bit of Chili Peppers riff there. This is fun. Who the fuck are avoid, man? They're great. Saxophone? Really going for it. Well, cause I won't mm. on the phone, but I won't call you. Said you change, but you don't. Cool. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's the ending? Yes, well done. Excellent. Crisp, tidy, memorable. What is this? It's just the outro. Oh, that was so cool. So cool. That to me, like, I've enjoyed the home team for what they are. But that is for me like an elevated version of the home team. It's got that crisp, clear clarity of the vocals. It's got the funkiness, got a pop element. It's got rhythmic fun within there. But the... Melodies are interesting. They develop. They, they change over time. It's not just repetition. And like even when they did repeat the melody, this, the, the chorus is kind of broken into two halves. When the second half started, it was kind of the same melody, but the delivery of it was a little bit different. It had, for me, my ear is, maybe I just have to hear it again, had a bit more of an edge to it. And I loved that. Ah, oh, so many surprises with the gaps. The really long pregnant pauses in there were very satisfying. You had a little riff in there. It was clearly from like Can't Stop, I'm sure by uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. So they're putting in homages and things. It's catchy as fuck. It had a saxophone in there, which is fun as the bridge. There also was some piano bits and pieces. There were some percussive things going on earlier on, which is like world percussion or something, very subtly in the mix. They're throwing everything at this song in the studio, clearly, and having some fun with it. And it was great. It was really interesting. Funky is fucking enjoyable. I love that. Who the he who are these? Maybe they're the because I've not heard any other song by Downswing, so maybe avoid the reason that song is so good. I don't know. But that was oh, like listen, definitely delicious. Is it better than delicious? I'm gonna say that's a masterpiece, actually, because I couldn't. I don't know what could have been done better about that. It was so interesting and unexpected and fun and 
delivered some punch and some fire and energy to it. But also, there were moments of like auto-tune in this, but they were done in an intentional, slightly overcooked way for certain lines that was a good, I think, creative touch to make the whole song interesting. Ah, uh, this is brilliant, in my opinion. I thought that was absolutely fucking fabulous. I'm delighted now to be aware of Avoid. I'm shocked that I've not really listened to them before or heard of them before that collaboration with Downswing. So thank you very much to Michelle Elise for putting this on my radar. Can't Take This Away was a gem. A masterpiece of a song that I can't fucking wait to hear again.